Hey everybody, it's Clover here, and we are back playing some Final Fantasy IV. Uh, last episode, we went up Mount Ordeals, Cecil became a paladin, Tell learned uh, Medio, so many things happened. We fought Milan Z, the uh, first of the of Golbez's uh, elemental archfiends. I don't know if you know about those guys yet, but we'll learn about them soon. Anyway, uh, we got uh, permission from uh, Masidia's uh, elder to use the Serpent Road, which is a uh, magical uh, transport between Mesidia and Baron, uh, uh, to head back to Baron so we can get an airship. I wonder who we're going to get that from. Okay, so here we go on the Serpent Road to Baron. Yeah, in this game they don't do a great job of explaining what the Serpent Road is, or uh, or why it exists, or why it hasn't been available. I, I didn't uh, I didn't show earlier in the in the game uh, that the Serpent Road in Baron was closed because the Mesidians uh, closed off their end once Baron attacked them. Uh, you know that little scene at the beginning of the game that we covered in episode one. But here we are. We are home. We've come back to Baron. All right, so let me uh, pop outside real quick for a save. And then we will head inside the inn, where maybe we'll see some old friends. Am I holding you too much in suspense? Well, here we go. Heading back into the inn. And I'm not going to go to the innkeeper. Instead, I'm going to go to the bar in the back. By the way, early in the game, and yes, as you can see, there is our dear friend Yang. Uh, earlier in the game, at the beginning, I could have gotten these chests, and I didn't, so I will collect those now. So here's Yang over here, and he's with two fine-dressed gentlemen. Let's see what happens when we go talk to our friend Yang. Yang! Huh? It's me, Cecil. I became a paladin. Get him. Yes, sir. Huh? Uh-oh. Two guards. Oh, no. Well, let's see what we can do. All right. Yes, this is one of the most annoying parts about this fight. Ugh. Wow, that's nasty. Oh, jeez. Come on, man. So, yeah, in this fight, they uh, they do some pretty, pretty horrendous damage. And they also cast Mini, which uh, is absolutely uh, a terrible status effect. Um, it makes your uh, character useless. Uh, so hopefully we will be able to take them out soon. Oof. Oh, great. So <laughs> Cecil's going to be Mini for the next fight. Young, it's me! I know that. All right, so fighting Yang and I'm mini, which is awesome. Let's see if I have a heal. Yeah, okay. So we'll have Cecil use a heal on himself, and hopefully that will ameliorate the. Yes. Okay. Cool. Uh, so let's try and add some damage onto Yang because he's gonna start kicking my butt soon. I'm gonna go all out. Let's do a fire three on him. The twins do a flare. He's ouched. And Cecil is laying on some physical damage. Uh, let's slow him down, too, because he's going to start hitting us soon. Uh, and now that she's cast slow, let's have po uh, Palum do twin. Shut up! So, I mean, it's, you know, it's not the end of the world. Nice. Comet. Comet's far rarer, as we've discussed previously. I don't know if it's stronger, per se, but it is a the far rarer twin magic. So let's heal up with Tella. I wonder why Yang's fighting us, and I wonder why he's called Karate. If only all of the characters in this game were referred to by their, uh, by their class. Also... Very interesting that the translation team thought karate was a good translation for monk. Yeah, this is one of those weird situations back in the 90s where um, you would have Nintendo uh, basically, like, 
American censorship was was really, really, <laughs> really drastic in uh, in the '90s. So, um, whenever there was a reference to uh, to anything that could be construed as religion, and we took out Yang. Uh, whenever there was anything uh, that could be uh, construed as religious, um, they would remove it. That's why you see so many weird titles. Uh, like karate, or uh, in this in in this game, holy is called white, and uh, you know there's a lot of weird little things. Cecil, Leviathan attacked us, and I don't remember what happened after that. I'm gonna I'm gonna find my Yang at some point. It seems you are being utilized by the bar- by the Baron, while you're amnesiac. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Where's Rydia and Edward? Rydia was swallowed by Leviathan. I don't know what happened to Edward. I see. Aww. Where am I? We're in Baron. Soldiers will hear us. Let's talk over there. (laughs) Yang joined the party. Thank goodness, because now we have some double damage that we can deal. Uh, double physical damage. And we have a full party. Beating the guards? That's great! Stay in my inn, it's free! <laughs> if only that was always the case when you went to hotels. <laughs> Aw. Who is this gentleman? Tell us the sage. Edward's father. Well, (laughs) Edward's father? Okay. My daughter loved him, even sacrificing her own life. I see. I am a karate master of Fabul. Oh yeah, karate master? Is that your class? I'm Palum. I'm sorry. I'm the Mycidian genius, Palum. Please do not mind him. I am his twin sister, Porum. Ah, so I was right. Porum's the girl. Okay. You heard us, man. Stop it, Palum. I'm ashamed. Anyway, we must rescue Sid. But it won't be easy to sneak into the castle, Baron. What is this? (laughs) Like the, the idea that he just found it in his pocket. What is this? The key of Baron, yeah. With this key, we can make it. I'm surprised by how often Cecil says yeah. Received the Baron key. Awesome. Okay. All right. So we are all rested up. Awesome possum. So uh, let's check out Yang's equipment. I don't remember if he comes equipped, but I'm sure he doesn't. Uh, yes, this game has a very bad tendency of, uh, not providing gear to (laughs) characters when they join you, and it's interesting that he fought us with just a leather, uh, armor on. Yeah, sure. So, now, uh, as we discussed in, uh, the first episode, uh, we have the ability to enter the armor and ma- and, uh, weapons shop. We did it! We can get all these great weapons and armor that uh, that they've been hiding in Baron. Uh, always a cool little thing in this. The uh, the armor and weapons man both have chests behind them. Uh, I would assume it's their stuff. I like that you can go and take it without asking permission. Look at look at Cecil and his party living without permission. All right. So, now that we've got uh, a thunder glove or claw or whatever, let's equip that on our friend. I guess I should have saved his uh, stuff instead of uh, instead of um, selling it away, but oh well. Okay, so we got some nice stuff. Uh, yeah, so let's buy one of each of these for our friend Young. Okay, and throw those on him. Doop, doop, doop. Okay. Nope, sorry, not yet. 
All right, headband. I am going to save the uh, save the leather armor for a uh, something that's coming later. I think we've talked about that in the past, but we will see what happens. And let's go over here. Ugh. Do you want to make money? Okay. Uh, yes, we will buy. Uh, let's buy two thunder rods for you know just for the sake of it, and an ice claw and a cure rod for Porum, because they're going to be around for a much longer time, I'm sure. If you haven't gotten my, uh, my very sly hints, something is going to happen to these two soon. Which is sad, because they are a bundle of joy to have around. Alright, so throwing on the equipment for the remaining characters, and... Let's throw on that ice rod, or sorry, thunder rod for Tella. So if you can't tell, we're coming up on part of the game where uh, thunder is going to be uh, pretty useful. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, let's sell all this extra stuff. Don't need a rod, don't need cloth, don't need staff. Uh, the additional Gaia gear, we can sell that now also, and we can sell an iron ring. Awesome. Okay. Cool. We are keeping our, uh, our inventory, uh, well prepped. Uh, so let's head outside for a save, uh, just to make sure we don't, uh, we don't hurt ourselves, uh, where we're going. And, ooh, did I... Yeah, I put that. Okay, cool. Uh, honk, honk, honk outside. Sorry about that. Uh, so heading back in, and now it is time to go under Sid's house. I like that the entrance to uh, the sewers is under Sid's house. Uh, okay, so opening that up, and here we go. A little secret. Oh, wow. And in the treasure chest, a thousand GP. Very nice. Okay. So now we're going to head into the underwater pass, I believe it's called, or something like that. Uh, and you're going to see these fish over here are pretty nasty. Uh, they can deal some significant damage, uh, and uh, it's a little bit deceiving. As you can see, the name is Lekfish over there. Uh, you would expect them to be weak to lightning because they are water-based enemies, but in fact, they are not weak to lightning. They are weak to everything else but lightning. So what we're going to do, starting out, uh, I'm going to have, uh, oh, come on. Oh, 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 controller, why do you hurt me so? Okay, there we go. Uh, we're going to cast thunder on the piranhas in the back, because those guys are weak to lightning. And then uh, on the electfish, we are going to, um, we're going to just attack them normally. Well, and the twins take them out. No problem. All right. Palin gained a level. Learned Virus. That's awesome. Quorum gained a level and learned Exit. That's great. Uh, Cecil gained a level. Noish. High encounter rate here, which is a little bit annoying, but that's fine. Um, let's have Cecil and, uh, and Young take out one of these guys. Uh, and then let's just go right to twin because, um, oof, that was a nasty hat. Um, let's have, uh, let's have the, uh, Palum cast, uh, twin just to make sure that we get the, we get the damage off on these guys. Nice. Okay. I should hopefully heal at, well... I'll heal at some point soon, uh, just to make sure I don't deal much more damage. Uh, the unfortunate thing about, uh, about Yang is that he doesn't have very strong equipment, uh, and as you can see, there's some chests over here, which is great for us, uh, but he doesn't have very strong equipment, so you need to, uh, uh, I'm gonna run from back attacks like I always do. Um, he doesn't have very good equipment, so uh, basically he he just takes uh, a ton of damage. Um, he's really a damage sponge because of all his HP, but um, you know it's uh, 
it's not really, uh... He doesn't really have ideal, uh, armor situation going on. Okay. And found a life. Nice. I might need it. Alright, more elect fish. Let's try and take those guys out. Uh... Eh, I guess keep going with twin, even though I want... Porum to cast some uh, Cure 2 just to get the party's strength up, but I think we're still in fine place. And the twins haven't started casting yet, which is interesting. Okay. And there they go with Flare, and everything is taken care of. The twins are a real gift in this, uh, in this portion of the game because they, uh, as you can see, just deal the the bulwark of damage here and they really help us get through even with uh tella's new magical abilities he's so slow that it doesn't really help <laughs> though it will help later uh with a fight that's coming up yeah the 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 there's sometimes this randomization of uh of, um, like, when characters go first, and I always thought that was weird. Um, uh, you know, like, usually Cecil goes first. I think he has a, a preemptive status because he's, uh, he's a paladin, or, I don't know, because he's the main character or something. But, um, like, uh, the twins went first over there in, in this battle, and it's just a weird, a weird happenstance. I wonder why it happens. I wonder what in the game says this should happen. Okay. Throw some Cure 2 on our friends. And they are taken out with a flare. Nice. It's interesting that no uh, enemies in the games have the, uh, have the twins' magical uh, twin abilities. Like, it, because you, you see so many duplicates, it would be cool if, like... Uh, if creatures or monster attacks where there are duplicate enemies, like especially magic-based enemies, have um, would use the twin abilities, but it doesn't happen. So this is uh, an interesting part of the game, uh, and you'll you'll see this happen kind of a few times um, in the game. But um, uh, there are all these secret passages that allow you to get. Uh, all of this uh, secret equipment that's laying about. Um, nothing really, like, super great, but... You live with what you get, I say. Alright, Aquaworm doing a big wave, which is uh, a nasty attack. You're gonna see uh, two, two uh, bosses uh, later in the game do that, and it... It really does some damage. It's not a... Not a happy time. Oh, sorry. Aquaworm does wave, and these other two, uh, these other two bosses do big wave. I believe it's called. Okay, nice, Yang. Yeah, Cecil wasn't able to hit the Aquaworm, which is interesting. I wonder if he has issues with back row enemies. One would assume that. Uh, that a paladin with a broadsword would be able to hit things in the back row. Um, yeah, I mean, let's have Cecil do some cure now. On everybody, on everybody, please, thank you. Let's just use that. Okay. And the twins are almost out of magic, but we are pretty close, or out of MP. Uh, but we're pretty close to, um, to a save point. Okay, more elect fish, which will make this a little more complicated. Uh, let's have the twins throw down a twin. Yeah, I think in the DS remake it's called Twin Cast, which, um, you know, it's, uh, I, I like that they, they tried to make these little clarifications on, on the language issues. Because there are kind of quite a few language issues, and it doesn't help uh, when when characters are speaking that I'm butchering the lines as it is. But the um, 
the yeah, there's a there's a lot of typos. Hi. Okay. Trying to take out this awkworm and wow, Young just was like face palm. Okay. We got a heal, nice. I won't refuse a heal, and we got a life. Man, I wish they would give some more equipment. Some more equipment would be nice. Maybe that'll be coming soon. All right, and you got a little secret passageway over here. I was, uh, I probably remember this wrong, but uh, in the in the CRT days, I don't know if you could see the. Um, if you could see the uh, the hidden passages as well as you can now, but uh, yeah, they're they're very clear. You can see them very clearly right now. Um, oof, that aquaworm has a lot of HP. Um, let's do lit two and cure two, and then Tella, why don't you why don't you throw some support with a thunder rod? All right, lit two coming down. Bam. And we got one down. All right, let's try and knock him out with uh, with Yang and Tella. Or sorry, Yang and Cecil. <laughs> Tella's never gonna knock anything out. Oh well. <laughs> I love immediately being proven wrong. All right. Oh, I already got what was in there, and I totally forgot what it was. Okay, Aqua Worms again. Try and distribute the damage a little bit more. See if that helps. Uh, yeesh. Yeah. Well, let's see what we can do. So, uh, Palum's low on MP. That means that uh, Porum's going to be also. But mm, that might be a good time to heal up, even though we have a save coming up soon. Okay. Oh, well, I mean, we could just have, uh, have Tella use his, uh, lit too. Alright, curing up. Okay. Good job, Tella. Being useful for once. And Cecil takes him out. Nice. Yeah, I always forget that Cecil Cecil has has kind of a slow growth, and it's it's kind of funny because he becomes such a significant physical damage dealer later in the game. But starting out, it's you know it's pretty rough. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna do a tent here, and as you can see, there's a secret pa secret passage to our right. So I'm gonna go get that, and if I remember correctly. This might actually help with some of the uh, the damage issues that I'm having with uh, with Cecil right now. Uh, hopefully that is the case. All right. Ancient sword. I think in um, I think in uh, the DS version they call it the stone sword. Uh, it does it indicates that it does less damage, but it also has stone effect, if I remember correctly, so it should uh, knock out uh, enemies pretty quickly. Alright, save this up. Okay. And I hope I'm not going to end up dying on the upcoming fight, because you have to go a long way from the save point to get back to where I would die. I'm going to run away from this fight, because don't want to bother. Uh, guards are a pain, as we saw in the, uh, in the fight before Yang. And here we are, back at the Castle Baron. So, I can't remember, but at the beginning of the game, I do think you have an opportunity to go into the waterway, and I don't know what happens if you try to go into the, into the underground path. You're, you're probably told you can't, uh, you can't go into it. But... Let's uh, let's take a little quick nap. Make sure we have all of the MP for what's coming up now. Hint, it's going to be a battle. OK, 
Okay. And heading down into the uh, into the castle. Uh, let's go back around and we're going to go confront the king. Let's do it. All right. And here we are. <gasps> Cecil! Cecil, welcome back to Beth. Bacon, you aren't controlled by Golbez? No way. I'm the captain of the guards. My loyalty to the state is unwavering. I see. Then come with us. There's six people allowed in our party. You could be of great help. Yes, sir. Chief Guard of Baron Bagan joined. Aw, that's such a cruel little thing that they do. Huh? What's up, Palimporum? What's wrong? It smells like a monster. Where? Something's fishy. Can't you act a bit better? What? I was given a great gift from my master, Golbez. I'll show you! Oh no, Bagan's been turned into a monster. All right, so uh, this, is, this is an early on fight and it can be a little bit annoying because uh, Bagan has uh, a very, very nasty uh, ability, which uh, we will show uh, shortly. But let's, uh, let's have, um, Tella throw a slow, uh, well, great. So let's have Tella throw a slow on Bagan, and, um, we'll just have, uh, Yang and Cecil pummel, uh, pummel away at him. Now, this is one of the unfortunate things, that, um, Bagan can apply wall on himself, which, um, uh, can be very, uh, very significantly, uh, uh, you know, uh, it, it, it hampers us significantly. And I forgot that flare can be reflected. Great. All right, so Yang took some, some nasty damage. Let's, uh, try and see. Do you have a wall? Yes, you do. Okay, so this is one of the little secrets of this game. If, uh, if a character, uh, if a, really, all of the trouble, uh, and, okay. If a character has, a uh, reflect on them, the other character with reflect can't bounce it back. How lucky for us. So, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and deal as much damage as possible, uh, to Bagan, uh, using the reflect, uh, on Cecil. Um... And a good way to do that, oh, come on. A good way to do that is by using our good friend Tella to cast Fire 3. And our good friend pa uh, Palum to cast Virus. I'm very happy that she got that. He got that. Nice. Well, I mean, not great, but it's fine. Nice. Now that's what we're talking about. Okay, so let's try and throw some quick damage on the remaining two, uh, on the remaining arm. And it explodes. All right, well, our dear friend Bagan, we murdered him because he was a monster. And Cecil gained a level, learned Cure 2. Awesome, that's great. And <laughs> see, see, be careful, Cecil. Oh, Cecil was so sad. Well, I think that is a good place to stop for today. On the uh, next episode, we will uh, go and fight the King of Baron. Or who says we'll fight him? Maybe he'll be like, I'm so sorry. Um, um, y please don't hurt me. <laughs> Well, anyway, uh, folks, thanks so much for joining me. Um, it was a lot of fun, and I will see you next time. Bye!